Hey up folks, it's uh, myself again, Mr Andrew Vannon. I'm going out today. This is an emergency episode of One Van and One Camera. We're actually going up into Renfrewshire today. Uh, we're going to uh, Glenifer Bray's Park. But uh, we're also wanting to uh, debunk is Glenifer Bray's Park. We've got a slightly more north beside it. And this stems from Glenifer Bay's car park being used as not just a place for beautiful sights and vistas, but to see some action. We're going to debunk it if it's true or not. So hopefully you like, yeah, do enjoy the journey and the train's about to kick off in a minute or two. Plus that door keeps opening and shutting, you know, the passenger door keeps opening and shutting. That's date my tits in. Anywho, more about tits later. Catch you. This episode, emergency episode of One Van and One Camera, has been uh, made uh, to prove or deny the rumour about Glenifer Bay's car park being a uh, uh, sex spot and also to prove or deny the fact that the uh, views up Glenifer Bay Park are really nice or not. See there, where the electric thing is, that used to actually be a toilet within Dunn Square of uh, Paisley Town Centre. Uh, apart from anything, it closed obviously, and when it was open, it had more action going on inside than a football match. Alright folks, so I have arrived, I have been on a bus and a train, and this is a clear and closest landmark I could get myself and I was asking what bus stop would be best for uh, Thornley Park you know uh, somebody did ask me uh, where I was going I just said uh, I was going to the the college uh, to uh, revise M more for them I'm revising in six <laughs> we haven't arrived into the actual venue we're just walking up to it still and you can clearly see something is going on because the, the bushes are all kind of pushed out of the way to kind of almost like humans through and look at the ground here is what you call a footfall and I'm not in the actual country park yet and there's that going on anyway, wanted to share we're actually in the park at this point. You can tell humans have pushed through to get either into the bushes themselves or through to the other side. Clearly something going on. That's the views we see here. And this is only about a third of the way up. Now, if I go higher up, we'll be able to see Glasgow. And if you're wondering why the grass is all dark, it's because of a thing called averaging. It's uh, regarding lighting. Uh, this one only does a, what's it called? Automatic for video recording. Now they had exposure sorting in nanoseconds. Up ahead of us in the park is a car park called Robertson Car Park. I don't know if that's the line of a car park or uh, it's just a kind of side off, if you know what I mean. All right, so this is a view from further up Glenifer and we're on the term Head Road. This autofocus bullshit is doing my nothing. Wait, seriously? There we go. Uh, hi. So, Probably about 0.6 miles away now, thanks to Google. Cheers! Okay, so this is further up in the park. This is a Glen of a Bay Country Park. But where the car park in the sky is, the uh, actual uh, car park in the sky, I have absolutely no concrete idea. Uh, Google I sent us a three mile goose chase, my legs are fucked. So if there's anybody about with a car, she or if you agree, 
get me uh, put in the car and I can die quietly in the back seat. So uh, in the back seat, not just sex happens, not just crying happens, but dying happens. My chemical romance, I bet, by the way. Not got very much interesting to tell you, apart from Google has sent me on a 2.6 mile wild goose chase, so inevitably I'm not happy and we've not found the infamous car park in the sky. It certainly does exist, I just have to come back. So yeah, that was uh, unsuccessful and the thing that made that unsuccess was Google Maps. Uh, next time I'll just uh, get my own actual uh, GPS. I've got a Garmin, that works quite good. Every time I've used like, Google Maps, it's failed spectacularly. Manchester, I almost got walked onto the motorway uh, up nights so with I got walked round a roundabout. Other places, it took me to the opposite end. So let's say, like I was wanting, uh, I was wanting to be in a specific place in Five Bank. It took me to a business park that nobody really knows about. This is not good. But anyway, we will be looking into getting this uh, restarted, possibly next weekend. Who knows? Uh, so yeah. Um, Instead of going through that horrible drama with Google Maps and getting lost and asking a hundred different people where the car park in the sky is, I thought, you know what, dig deep and get myself a taxi and, yeah, I'm hopefully going to be pointed the right direction this time. P.S. Google Maps. Sling out. What absolutely beautiful views. A taxi that costs nine quid to get up here from Gilmore Street Station got me up. Not even ten minutes. Google Maps. Three mile roundabout chaos. Two hours and... This is absolutely perfect. Much love to the taxi driver guy. This is quality, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, let's go on with the primary objective to find out if this is really a Shaker City or is it just a blacker story. For the avoidance of doubt, it's not actually snowed, but it has been very icy. Wouldn't be surprised if snow's on its way. The car park in the sky. This is a callback to one of the episodes of One Van and One Camera where Bumblebee had referenced to coming up here to smoke a joint. I haven't seen him the day. That was before leaving the house. And he's definitely not up here. Where he could be, I don't know. Now this bench here isn't too far away from the car park. It's only like 20 yards or something. I don't know if it's nicknamed blowjob bench, but that would be a pretty gallus way to uh, receive a blowjob. Just sitting almost like this, having this beautiful sight, then having a beautiful sight of whoever you like gobbing you off. Fantastic, but I don't know, I don't see any particular proof. Oh, look at that. Look at that bench, it's in the middle of fuck knows where, it's like in the middle of nowhere actually. And you could happily shag or be blown off and nobody interrupts you. Hot dog! But as again, uh, there's not exactly much evidence around it that kinky things go on in that bench, but you yeah, never know. People are becoming more conscientious and taking their condoms home with them. See the flats near the middle of the screen? The square middle. I believe these flats are the ones that are seen at uh, the Kirkton in Glasgow, the Kirkton flats, and maybe even the Lincoln flats, who knows, but I just wanted to show you. Look what I found in a set of bushes up here. Oh, it's got a slight yellow tinge to it. There's another one. Let's see. It's 
So something hang hanky panky has been going on in the bushes. Just not up in the car park because that's like jailbait or something. <laughs> Uh, tape, that's my kind of my fetishist stuff, that's bottles and stuff. Hmm. Right, there's another. This is how cold it really is up in the car park in the sky, also known as Glen for Bay's car park. Uh, I am wearing just uh, one of them uh, Under Armour tracksuits, shirt, obviously your boxers, shoes, socks. My shoes aren't exactly uh, walking boots, so I'm getting shit tons of ice every time I move. It's fucking grim. Just give yourselves a moment to think about what conditions I'm putting myself through. To just entertain you, say much love to a taxi driver for getting me up here in what, not even 10 minutes. I'm going to see. Right. A friend that I know that lives this kind of way, he said that uh, things have been completely cleaned out by police, if fun police, bastards, shower of bastards. Uh, yeah. Partly it occasionally does go on still, but yeah, but I don't know if you saw me yet, Ian. Catch. See that van up there? That's uh, the city council, Renfrewshire council up here. Probably keeping a patrol, making sure there's no cars rocking. Dirty grass and bastards. You can see the absolute beauty in this area and how People want to come up here, especially at night, and just watch it, the night sky over there. Hi folks, this is the end of the documentary for Glenifer Bay's Car Park, Castle in the Sky, a dogging documentary. Unfortunately, I couldn't see very much to actually uh, kind of prove or disprove dogging happening there. I couldn't really see much it could prove. Uh, that dogging was actually happening, but it was one or two things, but very, very little. Uh, but I, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the, the sights I have given you uh, that has flooded your screen, like the top of a uh, car park in the sky you can see here. I just hope you enjoy it, and uh, yeah, this is not a usual kind of thing I put on YouTube. But maybe I'll do a little bit more of these, you know, just uh, drop comments in the comment box saying you want to see more or see less or uh, give me a random topic to uh, hit out with and I'll, uh, I'll do it. So, yeah, until the next documentary, hopefully not about dogging this time, uh, much love and I'll catch you soon. Like, you can see how icy it is, right? And check the gradient of that hill. How could anyone get anything mechanical up that hill without it goes forward, back, sidewards or any other direction? That is nuts. What's going on there? No car or van could do that. Why is there playing about with NASCARs in the freezing cold Scottish weather? Even then that would be a bit of a catastrophe. I don't exactly know when it first started being Glenifer Bates car park but ultimately uh, a lot of people come up this direction and sit in the car park when they're courting and uh, they see n nice beautiful vistas, nice beautiful sights and then the couple see nice jugs and noise bulge or whatever um, yeah, that's what it's quite often like used for during the summer. Maybe if I come back in the summer, we will see something. But I, for the record, I didn't see anything when we were up there.